Alright, this is adding text to your designs. And I'm going to go up here to Insert and click on that. And I'm going to go down to Text and click on that. Right now we're going to add in Merry Christmas because it's getting to be that time of year again. So I'm going to click here and I'm just going to type in the box. You see the flashing cursor. I'm going to type in uppercase M and then lowercase is for the, for the other ones. And down here you'll see floating stitches which is what I'm going to do so I can trim in between the letters. Auto trimming, my machine doesn't do that so I need to do that. So I'm not going to put a check mark here. And we come over here and go up to properties. And you'll see they're all individual settings, which means that I can actually go in and edit each individual letter instead of having to go ahead in and do the whole word. Sometimes you want to do that if you want to make the M bigger, or if you want to change this around and make it make it look different, you can do that. And if I go over here to layout it's going to see that it's placed it on a circle because that's how I wanted it to be and it's got place on other side checked off I don't want that so I'm going to click on that and you'll see that it actually pushed it on the bottom of the circle which is great because that's where I want it but I don't want it down here I want it up here so I'm going to click on this slide bar and it's going to move it around for me and you can watch it move it I want it at the top of that circle and I want it to be spaced pretty good. So I think that looks good. Now if I don't like the gap between the letters, right now it looks kind of a large gap, I can take that down by pressing on this down arrow button. And you'll see that the letters come together a little bit. Which looks okay. So I'm going to go over here to OK and click on that and then Bird will process it for me. And wait while it works. It comes with little green buttons and it should flash it to the back. And we're waiting. And we're waiting. And here it is. And I like that. So I'm going to keep that. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to join the lettering. If you look over here to the right hand side of the screen, you're going to see each individual letter has box. That means you can still play with them a little bit here on screen if you want. But I'm kind of happy with that. So I'm going to go over here to the join button and I'm going to join all the letters together. And if you notice back over here on the right hand side again, the Mary has a little has a box around it and that's highlighted here. It's also highlighted on my screen in the box. So now I'm going to add in Christmas. I'm going to go up here to Insert, back down to Text again, and you'll notice that I have a flashing cursor here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click left click on my mouse and I'm going to drag it across here. You'll notice that the word Mary is now highlighted. So I'm going to type in Christmas. Let's see and you'll notice that Mary disappears. That's a Windows thing. And again, I'm still doing nearest point floating stitches. And I'm going to click on OK. And that should put that there. But before I do that, I want to check the properties to make sure that they're all individual. So I might want to change the C and make the gap a little bit bigger. I'm going to go here to Layout. And you'll see that it's actually on the circle, but it's actually in the space where I want the Mary to be. So I'm going to move this down so that the Christmas will come up down here. And again I'm going to take that slide bar here, I'm going to move that, Let's see where this comes in. That looks pretty good, but now I don't, it's still upside down. So I'm going to go over here to place on the other side and click on that and you'll notice that Christmas appears here on the bottom. But I still want that a little bit more in the middle. So I'm going to go back here to my sidebar and I'm going to slide it a little bit more. Alright, I think it looks pretty good. And that looks pretty good too. 
Okay. So I'm going to come over here again to the OK box and click on that. And you're going to wait for Ember to compile the files. Watch the little green boxes as they appear. And we're watching the little green boxes again. There it is. Now that looks kind of strange. So what I want to do is I'm going to go over here to my right hand side. And again you'll see that each individual letter has a box on it. So what I'm going to do with that is we're going to come up here again to the join button and click on that and it'll join them. And now you notice that over here on the right again Mary is, is still unhighlighted but Christmas is highlighted so I can move that around. I come over here and you'll see that my cursor changes to the move symbol and I'm going to click that and hold it down with my left mouse button hold it down and I'm going to move that so that it's away from the Mary and that's about right with that but Mary looks kind of strange so I'm going to put that one and click on that highlight it with, with my right on the right hand side of the screen with my left mouse button and I'm going to push that up a little bit for the distance okay so now I'm going to move Christmas up just a little bit again I'm going to come over here to the right hand side click on Christmas and you'll notice the box pops up for that. And again, you'll notice that the cursor sign has changed to the move. And I'm going to just push this up a little bit. And there you have it. So now we have two separate lines of type. What I can do now is take my control button, click on the word Mary, and you'll see that a bigger box pops up and it contains both of the, word, of the wording for you. So now, if I like that, which I do, I'm going to come back over here to that Join button again, and it'll click on that. And that will join the both of them together. Now, if I'm not sure that it's centered correctly on the hoop, I can come over here to the Center symbol and click on that. And it moved it a little bit for me. And that is adding text. Next, we'll go over adding text on top of a design.